Hi and welcome to Belgian diecast restorations. I'm Johan and on the turntable we have the Majorette Citroën DS21 Ambulance. This 165 scale model was produced by Majorette from 1973 up to 1980. This version with the yellow windows and beacon is the oldest and was in production until 1978. From 1978 on the model was produced with blue windows. As you can see this model is pretty play worn. The paint and the decals are all but gone. The windows are clouded and there are small cracks in the windscreen. One of the blue flags fell off during shipping. They are after all very fragile and it's pretty hard to find play-worn models that have at least one surviving flag. But this model is nevertheless complete and a prime candidate for restoration. So let's get out the tools and give this model a makeover. Majorette probably based this model on the DS ambulance made by the French Corus company, which produced emergency vehicles mainly on a Citroën chassis. Strangely, I've only seen the blue nose flags on one picture. A single flag was used on French ambulances to indicate whether they were carrying a patient. But I couldn't find any explanation about the dual nose flags, so if there are any ambulance experts who know the significance of the blue flags, please let me know in the comments. The model is held by one rivet in the front and a lip in the back. I drill it out and remove the bottom plate. We have the blue piece with the flags, the interior with the patient and the window unit which also contains the beacon and the headlights. The window unit also holds a plastic rear door in place. It's the only opening feature on this model. The bottom plate has a patented majorette suspension. This just clips loose to remove the wheels. The body takes a dip in hot water and caustic soda to remove the paint. When the casting comes out, there's no paint left. Majorat paints are durable but easy to remove in caustic soda. I wirebrush the casting to prepare it for painting. I also wirebrush the bottom plate to bring back its shine. Then I drill a 1.5mm pilot hole in the rivet post. And I tap a 2mm screw thread and fix the screw. This model was always painted in bright white. I primed the casting with Motip white primer. As it turns out, this primer has difficulties getting into the cracks and details of the model. It's not dramatic, but I won't be using this primer in the future anymore. Tamiya, Vallejo and AK Interactive are the best primers for model cars in my opinion. Then I spray two coats of Motip high gloss white. As opposed to the primer, this is a great paint for white models, but since the primer didn't cover most of the grooves and fine details, the paint also fails to cover those. The only solution, apart from starting over and wasting time, is to go over the model with a single coat of Vallejo Hobby Paint White. These paints are primer and coat in one, and neatly cover all the parts that the Moti primer left open. Now I only need the gloss clear coat to finish the model. Finally, the paintwork is sealed with several coats of Vallejo polyurethane gloss varnish, which gives the bodywork its shiny finish. The plastic parts have had a few turns in the ultrasonic cleaner to remove most of the dirt. 
There's still some left and I go over them with a toothbrush and window cleaning liquid. The axles and wheels are still in great shape. I go over the axles with the wire brush. The wheels are cleaned and the chrome trim is refreshed with Molotov chrome. The window unit is in nice condition, except for a couple of small cracks at the base of the windscreen. I have another window unit for this model that's not cracked, but it needs some cleaning and polishing. I first go over the windows with wet 1200 grit sandpaper, then go up to 2000 grit. Finally the windows are polished with polishing compound for plastic car headlights. Now it's time to repair the broken flag. I use a toothpick to apply a small amount of super glue and add a tiny bit of baking soda to make a powerful weld. The flags stand a bit crooked after all these years of play. Off camera I straighten them using a soldering heat gun set at 100 degrees celsius. This softens the plastic just enough to bend it without breaking it. When it cools it remains in an acceptable position. The blue plastic of the flags is faded and shows some white scars of bending and the repair with the soup glue and baking soda is still visible. I go over the flags with a spray coat of traffic blue. When the paint has dried we can reassemble the model. First I reassemble the bottom plate. I drop in the axles with the wheels and lock them in place with the suspension. Then I insert the window unit and the rear door. And finally we have the interior with the patient. The part that holds the flex goes over the front rivet post. Now I can close the model up with the screw. The Majorette DS ambulance came with a variety of decals. The most common ones are the red cross on the sides with the word ambulance arced above it. There are no third party decals for Majorette models, so I had to make these myself. I carefully took the measurements and reproduced the decals in vector software with the correct font. If you are interested in my decals to restore your own Majorette ambulance, you can get them from my Kofi page for a small fee. The position of the decals varies from model to model. On some models they are on the doors, on others they are in the center overlapping the doors and on this model they were in the middle. 
The decals fit but are a bit larger than the originals. I fixed this in the files on my Kofi page. Now let's see what we started out with. This Citroen DS ambulance was at one point someone's favorite car. It had a lot of play wear, missing a lot of paint with small cracks in the windscreen and one of the flags barely holding on until it gave away during shipping. And here is our ambulance after restoration, sporting a fresh paint job, cleaned and polished windows, beacons and headlights, its blue flags repaired and resprayed. And the new faithfully reproduced decals finish off the model. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell. More restorations are coming up. See you in the next video.